Today, it is time for my favorite kind of pallet video. Once again, we've got an Amazon custom return electronics pallet. So this one had two very large boxes that came on one wooden pallet. So uh, liquidations can either come in a big, like a watermelon box on a, on, a, on a wooden pallet. It can, sometimes I've seen stuff just strapped down on a wooden pallet or Amazon sometimes will box stuff up in boxes like this and put those onto a wooden pallet. So it all kind of varies whenever you say you've got an Amazon liquidation pallet that could be several different kinds of configurations of a pallet. So two boxes, the total MSRP on amazon.com, if everything was new, but it's not, it's custom returns, is $1,551. That's the new price if everything was new. Uh, but since custom returns, I usually say the true value is probably gonna be about $750 to $800. Because you can pretty much take the MSRP, slash that in half, and then that is the true MSRP of a customer return pallet. Half, most of the time. Could be wrong though. Usually it's pretty good estimation. My cost, 210 bucks. That includes all fees, all buyer premiums, any kind of taxes. I don't pay shipping, I buy locally, and I pick up in person. Never pay shipping if you can avoid it at all costs. Shipping destroys any profit you can make. So, here we go, first box. And people ask me, literally, a dozen times a day, how can I buy liquidation pallets? Well, you've gotta find a liquidator who buys direct from Amazon, Target, Walmart, buy the million dollar contracts that they have, and then they will sell to you. You've gotta find a middleman between you and Amazon or Walmart, gotta find a middleman. And sometimes you might not have a middleman that's local to you. You might not even have a middleman that's even in your state. That happens a lot. So you might have to be willing to drive sometimes hours away or halfway across the country to get pallets or you gotta pay shipping costs. And it's usually cheaper just to rent, rent a U-Haul truck and drive six hours if that's what you gotta do, you know? Or move to a city that has liquidation companies like Indianapolis has about a half dozen liquidation companies who, who get the big contracts from the major companies, you know? So, here we go. Everything will be sold on the normal platforms. And go through one item at a time. And first thing, Xbox One controller. That's a good sign. Not Fighter Steel has been retaped by somebody else. Let's see if this is actually in here. This is supposed to be some kind of like a purple Fortnite controller. And it is, it is the purple Fortnite controller. Condition wise, the batteries in it are still factory sealed. I don't see any usage on this. This might just be an open package item. But most controllers I sell for about 30 to $35 in that condition they sell pretty quickly next we have we got a mystery box oh we've got oh i to say it's factory sealed but it is not is this a taser no <laughs> i haven't gotten a taser for a long time but we've got a cassette tape player brand is byron statics i never heard of that brand but yeah just the portable cassette player. Not much value there. They're uh, not really a market for that. I know uh, vinyl records have made a huge comeback. Fun fact in 2019, vinyl records have officially outsold CDs. Yeah, it's the first time in something like 25 years, something like that, 23, 20, 25 years that records have outsold CDs. Pretty cool. Next, we got a professional lavalier wireless microphone system. That's kind of nice. It's been retaped by somebody else. Let's take a little glance inside, see what's actually in there. And there it is. Lavalier system, wireless microphone. 
Okay, it's not bad. Packaging on this is kind of whoever returned it, they just they weren't too gentle with the packaging. And it's not how it uh, was originally. But as a reseller, I'll go through and fix this packaging, make it look as fancy as the day it came off the factory line. The barcode's exposed, so let's do a quick little scan on Amazon.com to see if I can find the uh, the listing for it on Amazon. This is one of the fastest ways. Just use the Amazon Sellers app and just find it. Ooh, that's it? $13.99 new? Use condition? I'll be lucky to get 10 bucks on that, I bet. I'll be lucky. So, oh well. That's really cheap. We got a Panasonic, that's a nice little system. Panasonic two cordless handsets, call blockings. These actually still do sell pretty decently. I'm going to go back through uh, after the video, actually make sure everything is in there, it's supposed to be in there. But I do, these, these do still sell pretty quickly. Um, there's still a market for like home phones like this kind of crazy but yeah there's there's pretty much a market for everything and then like like i said earlier and sometimes the market like vinyl records will come back in style and uh become cool again here we go here's this this thing sells new on amazon for 59 dollars and 14 cents so open box item use condition it sells new for 60 I always try to get about half for it, maybe. So, about 30 bucks on that. Okay? But I gotta make sure everything's in there. Everything's good to go, too. We got a Timex watch. Which watch is this? This packaging, man, it's kind of like all roughed up again. Okay. Come on, get out of there. Oh, Amazon, you taped it in there. Wow, this has become like a big fiasco. There we go. So here's the watch. Timex watch with a pretty cheap, like a nylon band. Uh, watch is, isn't a premium watch by any means whatsoever, but you know, something like that, honestly, I might go get like 15 bucks out of it, maybe in that range. But yeah, man, this thing is just, is this even a Timex? Yeah, it's a Timex. Of course, you gotta make sure that the watch that you actually have is the correct one that's supposed to be in the box because sometimes uh, the watch might not be the right box in the box. Or the watch, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, okay. Honestly, that watch, like 15 bucks. We got another Panasonic cordless system. This uh, last one was 60 bucks. This one's probably gonna be, oh, probably close to the, the same price range, I bet. And it sells new for sixty dollars and ninety nine cents. So yeah, it's it's right on point with the other one. Got to make sure it's all in there, like what's supposed to be in there, and it'll be good, like thirty bucks. We got some blue painters tape, blue painters tape, and electronics. Totally makes sense. Completely makes sense. Uh, Three point five male to male to male stereo audio cord. Let's see. We got a pistol sharpener, bow stitch. A lot of times these can be burnt up. That's why they get returned, but if it's not burnt up, this one, good 15, 20 bucks in that condition as it sits. Plant kindness, gather joy, a 19, 19, 19, 2019, 2020 planner. Brand new, probably good 10 bucks on that. Let's see, what's this? We got a mystery box. Moment lens wide mobile photography. So we got something. To do with photography, it looks like. Mobile photography. Don't know how much 
mobile photography sells for? Is there a market for mobile photography? What brand is this? Moment Lens Wide? Let me look this thing up, just in case. Some camera stuff can get very expensive pretty quickly. So through quite a bit of research, the actual brand is just called Moment is the brand. This is a Moment wide lens for iPhone, Pixels, Galaxy, so on and so forth. Retails new for $119.99, so $120 new. It's literally just a little tiny thing that mounts on to your to your phone i guess it makes your pictures better yeah so 120 new honestly i never heard, i never heard of this brand so i'm gonna guess maybe like 40 50 bucks on that i i doubt it even goes you know half price could be wrong though oh we got another one of these planners brand new planner got a mystery package nothing like a mystery box in a liquidation palette Keep the suspense going. What is this? A black billfold looking thing. I th think that's a business card holder. Yeah, I think it's just a very, very fancy business card holder. Okay. Brand is style for you. 10, 15 bucks maybe. What's this? Ultra Pro, 100 pages for sports cards. Uh, I'm thinking some of the pages are missing because this thing used to be like thicker. Now it's pretty flat. But yeah, some like this, you know, that's not gonna be very much money now since, oh, there's another one. Since I think some pages are missing. More Ultra Pro sports card pages. Unicorn Beetle. This is a phone case. I've got this brand before. Actually, sells pretty decently too. Usually, I think last one was like twenty-five bucks. Like this is for. That's not an iPhone. That's the problem with these. A lot of times they don't say what it's actually for. It's for a Galaxy S10 Plus. So looks to be brand new actually. No usage on it. So honestly, it's probably about. 25 bucks on average for this Beetle case, phone case, Beetle brand. Let's see, what's, what's this? Mobile game controller for Player Unknown Battleground. This game used to be extremely popular, the Player Unknown. I think it's kind of died down now, it's not very popular, but. Huh, it's kind of cool though. I'm guessing it fits pretty much in any phone model that there is. Honestly, it's probably like about five bucks or so. It's probably not very expensive. We got a, a, a donut stylus pin. Bluetooth compatible, iPhone. I mean, some of this stuff is uh. Oh, it's trimmer spool uh, for a trimmer in electronics. Another phone system. This one I usually sell for about 20 bucks used. Uh, I used to get that quite a bit, but not much anymore. A few things left in box number one. Well, we got one more box to go. Another one of these beetle things. They're like $25. Got a thing of uh, brand new AA batteries. I'll keep those. Let's see, Rider 10 GPS cycling computer. Never heard of that brand either. By Brighton GPS. It is used. There's like some uh, possible poopage on the screen. Yeah, so I'll have to research that later. But not very expensive. And last item, first box. Oh, we have a hair dryer. Got a hair. It does have a plug in. It is electronic, then, I guess. So, a used hair dryer, about five bucks. So, that's the first box. Let me box all this stuff back up. I'll be back with the second box. Second box. Here we go. 
Let's see what, ooh, that looks nice right on top. I see some PS4 stuff, a wireless keyboard. Okay, this has, a, this has some potential to it. First item, let me get this thing out first. It's uh, Amazon Warehouse, oh, just the tape. Joy Access Wireless Mouse and Keyboard. Sounds a little loose inside that package. If the dongle's missing in these, it makes it really hard to sell. Oh, it looks nice. Actually, it looks, it looks like a complete, like a Apple ripoff of their wireless keyboard. Okay, it, uh, it, that one takes AA batteries. Okay, cut this little struggling out. Okay. Then there's AA batteries. Oh, we got dongles. We got dongles. So we are good. Then there's the wireless mouse. So it's all there. We got the wireless keyboard, the wireless mouse, got the dongle, and brand new batteries for it. So can't beat that. But something like this, since the brand isn't exactly like, you know, a top brand, it's still probably a good 20, 30 bucks right there. Okay. Then we got, what's this? A Lurtec digital photo frame. Distressed wood grain on it. That's kind of nice. Let's see how much things sells for, because I never heard of this brand. Maybe I have heard of this brand. Being a pout flipper, you hear a lot of different brand names going through pallets. Sometimes the names just start kind of like meshing together. So it just pulled up just photo frames, like little photo frames, nothing, nothing digital. Try one more time. Oh, here it is. So it's. 129.46 on Amazon. Dang, that's a hundred and twenty-nine dollar digital picture frame. The brand is kind of not top of the line brand. So honestly, I could probably get like 50, 60 bucks on that thing. I bet, maybe in that range. Okay, we've got that's still factory sealed. We got a PlayStation 4 a Recon 60P. Let's see how much thing sells for. Actually, I might be keeping this though too. I need a new headset for my PlayStation 4. Oh, cool! $49.99? Brand new, this thing's 50 bucks. And it is still that's still a factory seal on it, too. This is this 50 bucks. So if I don't keep this, I honestly will it's almost Christmas time, or it's getting closer. This will go for full price at 50 bucks around Christmas time. If not, I'll keep it. I'll figure it out. We got a stack of PlayStation 4 games here. Is that it? Uh, I don't see any more games, but there might be more down there. Let's see, first one. We've got Wall, or Wall of Duty. Call of Duty World War II. The game in there, it's loose. Um, it's not new, it's been used, some light scratches on the disc, but used Call of Duty World War II. I, know, I think the game, the price of this game has kind of plummeted since it first came out. Used to go for quite a bit more. Uh, let's see, it sells new for 30 bucks, so used, honestly, it's probably gonna be about $15. Then we got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Is it? Yep, it's in there. I don't know if it has any codes for but I don't want to show if it has any codes. Um, let's see how much. This this is a much older game now. This can't be very, very much. Sells new for 20 bucks. Used, yeah, it's probably going to be like 10, 10 bucks if I'm lucky. That's strange. This has a GameStop price on it. That, yeah, that's a GameStop tag. I guess so. Well, I guess that's possible that somebody, another seller, was selling used games on Amazon, and they just left the GameStop tag on it. I don't know. It's in there. PlayStation 
That looks like, oh, it's, it's got code right there Look, looking at me. Redeem your code. So I don't want to show the code, but the game is in there. Don't show the code. Um, GameStop. That's different. I don't know. Sometimes you'd be amazed the kind of things that people will return. Like they honestly, they could have bought a brand new Battlefield, like, like the newest Battlefield game. And they just sent back their old Battlefield 1 game in place of the newest Battlefield, whatever, like Battlefield 2, whatever it's called. That's possible. Then they returned this and kept the new game. But yeah, that's kind of strange. There's a GameStop tag on there. SGZH. Okay, no code showing. Use disk. So, I don't know anything about I think I've had this, this game before. I've sold it from Pallets. I don't remember price on this game. 25 bucks new. That's probably like $10. Oh. This is still factory seal. We got Battlefront Deluxe Edition Star Wars. Okay, this is an old game. What year is this? 2015 uh <laughs> that's probably like ten dollars new but we do have a brand new battle or what this thing is called battlefield not battlefield battlefront actually says it sells for 33 dollars new on amazon that's surprising it's yeah this is still a factory seal 20 25 dollars in and the last game we've got call of duty modern warfare remastered Okay, I don't see any code. Oh, it's used. New for $29.99, 30 bucks used, like $15 or so. Okay, it's not bad. So right there was six PS4 games, five used, one new, and then a brand new Turtle, Turtle Beach Recon 60P. So those games, what, I'm gonna say average like what? 10 bucks a game, even 60 bucks there, plus the headset. So those items there are probably gonna be about 110, 120 bucks for those. So that's not bad, you know? And actually I'm gonna keep all these. We've got two sealed bags of sticky notes. And I actually use these sticky notes for my uh, Funko Pop mystery boxes. I write the value of the pop and then the day I looked it up on the price guide on the sticky note on top of the pop just to let people know when I actually got the prices for stuff. Otterbox, Defender, Galaxy S10 Plus. It's used, so like 10 bucks on that. Well, that's a fancy one. We got a 12 outlet surge protector by Belkin. Yeah, I don't need this surge protector. I was keeping all these for quite a while, but I have enough for like two for every room in our house right now. So yeah, I'll, I'll sell this one. That's probably honestly 20, 30 bucks. Cause that actually is a nice one. Got a iPhone cord. Oh, cool. VTech watch. This is the pink one. I'll probably have to factory reset this thing. This is the VTech DX2. The DX2s I usually get 25 to 30 bucks out of the DX2. So as the instructions for it, I have a lot of replacement charging cords for it. So I'll have it. It's missing the cord, but I've got extra cords galore so that's good right there 25 30 bucks another wireless keyboard and mouse verbatim there's the mouse where's the dongle oh right there's the dongle we're good dongle so we are good to go so that's actually a lot of times whenever people return these things they forget to put the dongle back in, and that really, that really stinks. But yeah, this verbatim, this is probably gonna be 20, 20, 25 dollars or so in that range. Almost Christmas time too. Oh, cool! We got another Xbox controller. This one is a wired one for. Oh, it's an Amazon Basics branded Xbox One controller that's wired. Used controller, ten bucks on that probably. S9 case. Cool, we got a Dymo personal label maker. Open package item. Doesn't it looks like it's in fantastic condition still though. 
This sells new, is it model number LT-100T? It sells new for 26 bucks on Amazon. Open package item, that's $15 still. We got a mystery box. Oh, I see what it is. It is flameless LED candles, 12 pieces. That's exciting. So they have LED candles and electronics. I mean, it's kind of electronics, right? There's the candles. I think they're tiny. Wow, those things are cheap. Wow, that's cheap. Honestly, this is something that I won't really sell it. This, I'll just end up throwing this into my donation stack and it'll get donated here in the near future to whatever, uh, you know, like church uh, I'm donating to next. Okay, we've got iPhone cord. This thing has blue bags in it. What is this? Resealable zipper, back says cookies. Oh, I see what this is. Wow. This is in a uh, electronics. So this is a 3.5 gram, like a cannabis pouch. Government warning, this product contains cannabis. Let me just make sure there's nothing in there. Doesn't look like it. I have never received this before in a liquidation pouch. This is an absolute first that I got these. Man, that's like a childproof seal, but yeah, there's nothing in there. But we got, I guess, probably 24 of these, they call them cookies, cannabis pouches to hold 3.5 grams. That's actually the first I've ever gotten these in, in a liquidation pouch, something like this. Okay, whatever. We've got a glass screen protector for a cell phone. Oh, we've got a uh, Samsung, like an Android for your watch to charge your watch. Uh, the, we have a part of a, a replacement deadbolt. Okay, electronics. Check. Universal travel case, Amazon branded. I sell these things for about, eh, it varies from like eight, ten dollars. Okay, we're getting down to knit and gritty. We've got a five star notepad, a binder, and I'm running out of desk space too. Let's see. We've got iPhone cord, glass screen protector. Here's an Arctic Alpine 12 LP CPU cooler. A little different. So at least we got something a little bit more electronic that time. Wow, this thing sells new for $8.99. <laughs> so about five bucks. So we got a thing of pins. Another thing of pins. Nice pins though. Those are some of these fancy ones. Inner gel, liquid pins. Those are actually our fancy ones. Let's see. Oh, we got some gold and silver Sharpies. Keeping these. I actually use gold and silver whenever I get uh, autographs. Then we've got, looks like an iPad mini case. We got a mystery box. Hold up, hold up. What's this? Ooh. Calvin Klein. That sounds kind of fancy. How's it open? Open Calvin. Oh, it's a Calvin Klein. It looks like a men's wallet uh, and leather key fob. That's nice. It's actually a nice leather wallet. I'm actually going to keep this. That's nice. Then there is the like key fob keychain thing. Yeah, I'm keeping the wallet. But that's that's probably good, what, 20, 30 bucks in value, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep that. Then we got a few things left. We got 
a light bulb thing. Okay. Then we got a locking connector for grounding. And then last item, we have a watch. Did they tip the note? Oh, it's like this like last one with that weird looking cheap like nylon band. Probably good, you know, 15, 20 bucks or so. That one actually looks like this one's actually brand new still. 15, 20 bucks. So that's it. That's what we got. That is the entire electronics palette that was a value to like was 1500 bucks or so in, in that range. So I got it for 200 and was it $20? I think it was. So this wasn't, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of big stuff in here. Not really. Lots of smaller stuff. Quite a few things in the 20 to $30 range. Quite a few. But I mean, over time, this is going to make me, you know, maybe three times my money back. So it's still fantastic. I'm still going to make quite a bit of money on this palette. So that's all that matters cause as a palette flipper is to make money. So yeah, it all works out in the end. You know what I'm saying? I will see you guys next time. I uh, upload every single day, seven days a week, sometimes twice a day. So if you see one video drop at seven o'clock, sometimes I'll drop a second one like at nine, nine thirty or 10 or six o'clock and eight thirty. So be on the lookout for those double upload days. So I'll see you next time. I'm out.